Yay, happy Tuesday, everybody. We are so excited to be here. If you get there early and you watch our countdown shenanigans, so many shenanigans. Very thankful that the mic's not on the whole time. <laughs> Same. Um, so, I'm Patty. Hi, I'm Carrie, and happy Thanksgiving week from Studio R12 Stencils. So, if you are watching us live, it is Thanksgiving week 2023. If you are watching us on the repeat, we are live every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern on YouTube and Facebook and Twitch. And we were just talking about Twitch. Um, I personally have not heard of it um, until we started using it. And apparently it kind of started the live streaming before any of the other things did. And so it's really good at it. Yeah, and it, the feed's really pretty over there. <laughs> yeah. So if you want a more reliable way to see lives, that might be an interesting way to do it. So, I just had never heard of it myself. Yeah. So, um, if you notice, the back wall has changed. Yes. And we are super excited. We tried not to rush Christmas, um, but we're ready now, you know? So, um, we're excited to yeah. show you. And we're, this, le this lesson today is going to be about, it's not too late to paint for Christmas, mm -hmm. because I'm going to time how long it takes me to finish a sign from start to finish yeah. on this live while I'm talking about it. So it'll actually slow me down just yes. a little bit, but um, I'm betting 15 minutes. I'm betting on yeah, that. I'd say. Yeah. It's not going to be super complicated and crazy, but, but it's, it's elegant and beautiful. But for 15 minutes, you can't even get in and out of a store. Sure. And yeah. to a store, get in, get out. Take, go home, wrap a present. You can't do that in 15 yeah. minutes. And then what I love about our stencil projects is that they're super. So I have five sons. I have five daughter-in-laws. And they're amazing women. They don't all craft. Mm -hmm. um, some of them do. But um, it's super cool to be able to be like, hey, here's you a Christmas sign. Like, you know, that kind of thing. Like, let's get together and paint. Yeah. You know, it's just a really neat bonding experience. It's a really nice um I just love the crafting, the creativity, the hug of it all. Yeah. You know, it's... Well, and our, our stencil fans definitely jumped into holiday season before we did. They've yeah. been painting holiday things for weeks now. And on every Wednesday, most Wednesdays, I make a post and ask what you are painting. And our stencil fans have been painting some amazing projects. And so you can go through those posts on Wednesdays and get inspiration, see how people are painting things that maybe you have on your table or in your bundle of stencils that you didn't know how to paint. We've got really inspired. I you guys, the, we're being inspired by are. you. I shared the Nutcracker yeah. designs that one of our friends is doing and they are the most beautiful They're wood gorgeous. projects I have ever seen. Yeah, you, you guys need to, if you haven't seen them, um, where do they go to look? Because um, I, I can share a link okay. to the Facebook post. Um, yeah, so those Facebook images Facebook. are there, and go and look at those Nutcracker images. Um, we've got the tall porch Nutcracker um, stencil, mm -hmm. which makes it super easy. Like, it's Nutcrackers are complicated, so yeah. we took the complicated and we simplified it, and it looks good. Like, good, yes, good, 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 good. I'll do good. that. And I went to a. Um, kind of like a holiday swap over the weekend. And Morgan, who used to work with us, mm -hmm. her mom was there ah. with several Studio R12 designs on hand. And I took a picture, and I haven't showed you yet, but she had painted a Let It Snow tall porch sign, six foot, and the background was black. And she spattered the entire porch sign uh. with tiny spatters. So it looked like there was snow throughout oh, the so whole so background cool. and then had the big let it snow words. Yeah. And it was absolutely stunning. Yeah. You guys, this is so if be on Facebook with us because mm -hmm. um, Carrie does an exceptional job of reposting and posting things so that you guys can be inspired. You want to definitely get yeah. there and be and, there. And, and then with share that, with us. Yes, share, share with us. And I think that since we started posting and asking for photos mm -hmm. on Wednesdays, you guys have done a really great job of yeah. sharing with us. Yeah. And we hold on to all those. We have a file that we have every 
photo you guys share and we post them on our website under those products yeah and then we also use those in newsletters i'm like all right what should we feature today and i go through and see that five people shared this photo okay that's obviously a popular product yeah let's see yeah, how yeah, yeah. how no, we can inspire smart. others so we're using your guys work in several different ways to help our stencil fans and that being said also, don't forget to sign up for our newsletter. If you're not on the studior12.com newsletter, it is filled with tips and tricks and techniques. And we've yeah. been share we shared a gift guide and we share design yeah. ideas, we share videos, we share new products. Like it is really the place to go to get all the new things. Yeah, we we are here to work for you. Mm -hmm. So um, we are here to inspire you, help you with the things. And one thing, um, I was painting this week's um, this Saturday's project. And when I painted this Saturday's project, I was reminded that you can use your Christmas stencils forever. Um, they are timeless. Um, so when you have a stencil, you can pull it out next year. And like um, the one I'm going to use today is Silent Night, Holy Night. Mm -hmm. And so you could do Silent Night only. You don't have to use all the letters. Um, I used a round stencil mm -hmm. that had words and a greenery, and I just left the greenery out, so I reused one that was for something else. And it's so cool to pull in from what you've done before, yeah. you know? And I just, I love that, that stencils, you, they're timeless. Like, for the next Agreed. 15 years, you can use the same stencils. Agreed. Over you know, so, again. yeah. You don't have to have a lot of money, a lot of stuff invested you just need some basics yeah. you know so basics speaking are, of basics and things oh. you can use over and over again um the november 2023 project Ooh. of the month has been delivered and we have had multiple people comment and say this is their favorite one neat yet, i love it they absolutely love it we aren't going to share it with you this week because in case some of them get held up and yeah, people yeah, haven't yeah. had a chance to paint it yet we don't really want to spoil anything. However, um, the December box okay, sign so ups will start I soon. I want to talk about the December box because the December box is on a surface that's difficult to afford. Mm -hmm. And we've broken it down, not really mm -hmm. broken, broken, but we've broken it down so that we can get it to you affordably. Yes. We have the technology, we have the equipment to do what we've done. Mm -hmm. And it's massively amazing. It is super cute. amazing. So the, <laughs> so the pre-orders for that will um, start next week at some point. So keep out your e keep out your eye on your emails. It will not be until after Thanksgiving, Black yeah. Friday, Cyber Monday. So it will be after all of that. But we are but super excited amazing. about it. Amazing. Yeah. Um, so kudos to Elaine. Mm -hmm. Like so, we have a design team, right? It's me, Carrie, Elaine. And then if we pull somebody else in, mm -hmm. there might be a random other person. Yeah. But it's a three-way kind of thing going on. And we have um, this one. The one that we did last month was almost all Elaine. Yeah, for November. Um, yeah, and then this one, the forces came together. Yeah. And it was magic. It was, it's super and it's magic. super so cool. We are super excited about that. Um, I do want to show you real quick a couple of projects that we have painted on our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. So this was last week's project, and this is what Steve has dubbed his new favorite project. I love it. He loves it. So what this is, is this is Deco Arts. Um, tell me the name of the, the, designer, the finishes. designer finishes set. And it is in the colors. Let me get it. I had just had it popped up. It is the rusted metal set. So they mm, have, have sets. Right yeah. So I was reading that little post-it note I strategically put, um, but four colors. Yeah, so it comes with the, so, the red to make the rust. Mm -hmm. It comes with the silver to make the sparkle, shiny background. Yeah. It comes with the sand medium to make it textured. Mm -hmm. And then there's one, the brown. Is the other one brown? Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. the tone. Yeah. yeah, and that's the asphaltum, which is mm -hmm. like super sheer, so it's like glazy. Um, but so what I love about this is this, if you haven't seen the video, if you've ever wanted to make something look super rusty and streaky aged, um, I will show you that technique in the video. It is really cool. And then we just took this Dollar Tree surface. This is that um, expanded Dollar Tree where this is $3. Um, and we added a little clip to make it into like a clipboard for your photos. And then just painted it to take it from here. 
to yeah. here. As and a male, if you want to do a dad gift, make that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how cool would this be to be like, you know, your grandpa, your dad, your husband, your brother, you know, all of that. You put their monogram. And then what I love about the monogram, so I took this monogram off of the top of the tall porch sign oh, for the growth chart. It was a growth chart. Yeah. So it's a grow chart, tall porch. Uh, okay. It's a tall growth chart. Growth chart. And it's yeah. not, it is not the tall porch. It's love, a love, growth chart. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the wood's the same. So, but I took just the monogram off and I used only the monogram and then did texture paste through it, um, the um, stuff like that. And so it's amazing because like everybody in my family that I shop for mm -hmm. has the same last yep. initial. So I have one monogram and I can use it over and over and over and over. So like stencils are reusable hundreds of times. It's not like um, vinyl where you have to cut it and weed it and throw it away and cut it and weed it and throw it away, that kind of thing. So this is so good for durability. Okay. Next. So next is we're going to give you a sneak peek of what you can expect Guys, this, so this weekend. Ta-da! Give me some hearts or some thumbs up or something because I think this is jazzy as all snot. I think um, this is just so good. We added just a wide ribbon. And if you haven't seen our ribbon um, storage video, you need to go watch that. It's on YouTube. Um, it is amazing. It is makes the difference of knowing what you have like night yes, and day. Agreed. And then this is super simple. This is um, just a tone on tone background with just black. And that's what we're going to do today is we're going to do something super simple. We're going to jazz it up with a little greenery. And I'm totally going to give you a hack about how you can spray paint your greenery, which is magic. Um, but I love this. This will be this weekend's video. The background is super cool. Um, that's a great technique. And then, um, yeah, just easy and, and fun to do. One. And it's, it's how, quick, how long yeah. did it end up being? Right around 10 minutes. 10 minutes. So you can get a whole lesson in for 10 minutes on Saturday morning. Yep. Love it. Yep. We'll give these back to you so yes. I don't steal them. Um, so today we are painting a quick Christmas project. Mm -hmm. So a couple quick things before we start. We oh, do have one important one thing. Important yeah. thing. Let me let me make you, sure I say do. okay. So we have I'm not gonna I'm like wait, are we mind reading? Um <laughs> we do have a collection of Christmas stencils that are marked down to 30% off. That's and what I was thinking. That's what she was thinking. So I will share the link to that and the reason we are doing this sale today is because, as Patty mentioned, like it is not too late to paint for mm -hmm. Christmas. And we have a bunch of different inspiration on our wall behind us from fabric to porch This signs. is kind of important. Yeah. I don't know, Steve, if you can kind of pan with us a little bit. So it's not too late to get to your tall porch. And then the personalization, if you have grandma or somebody, can we hear me okay? Because of distance? Yeah, you're right. Okay. So the personalization for grandma, mom, that kind of thing for cooking. Then we have fabric and the oven mitts. This came from Hobby Lobby, this tea towel. And then this came from the Dollar, the dollar Tree. Um, and then from here you go into the, do the Dollar Tree surface, which is a video. All of these are videos. So everything can be found on YouTube. So you get the instruction. Everything is there for you to walk you straight through exactly how I paint it. This became a cup holder, and then we have homemade uh, wrapping paper, mm -hmm. and then, of course, you know, you just have to celebrate wine. <laughs> just saying. And then we move over here, and then we have things in your wreath, so you can personalize. You can make a fun wreath that has different signs that you can put into it. So this wreath could stay on your door. You could change out your ribbon, put a new sign, and now you are ready for winter. Um, and then, of course, movie Christmas. He's fun. He's just fun. Um, when we get over here, we're on a pillow down in the far corner, which, you know, if Steve can catch up with my pointing because I'm disgusted. <laughs> it's, you know, hey, we got to celebrate who we are. And then um, this is one of my favorites. This is with sawdust, and it is mixed in with the paint, and it's an amazing video, and the technique is incredible. And then we have countdowns, and we have the round 3D signs. Oh, my gosh. There's so much. So there's so much to paint. And what I want to celebrate with you today is that we can do it quickly. So what I want to do, 
Um, are you done? I have one, have more, one thing. more thing. So yeah, I thought you might have. I have one giveaway. Somehow this ended up on my desk, and I don't know how, but right. we have a red wine colored Studio R12 etched wine tumbler that is brand new. Brand new. And we're going to give it away today. And so, hmm, <laughs> I think I would love for you to tell us what your favorite product is that you've gotten from studior12.com like because then we can see what everyone loves and then other people can see what everyone loves yeah. as well so whether it's a specific stencil design or a tool yeah. or whatever it may be then we can all get a little bit of inspiration from right. that and i will announce the winner on wednesday 11 22 2023 we will announce that at 12 p.m on our Facebook page, it will be in a separate post. We don't ever respond to comments with links and things like that. So be wary of shenanigans on Facebook. Know that we always reach out to you privately or we will make a complete post with your name in it. Yeah, cool. All right, so All right. you guys ready? I'm Start rolling the timer. up my sleeves. Okay, here's what I'm gonna say what we have planned. Oh, wait, before we say that, I would like to point out this way gorgeous work surface that we have here. Um, we went on a business trip on Thursday and Friday last mm -hmm. week, and Steve came in here and <laughs> did all kinds of wild things to this and got rid of all of our schmutz and then oil that it feels so good. <laughs> and so I am trying really hard, so I have my Dollar Tree towel <laughs> to not mess it up. So... And so it's just got paint on it, and that's how I can be sloppy and not do a thing. And what I love about the Dollar Tree towel is you can move the whole thing without um, making a schmutzy mess on things. So I love that. So the plan for this is we have taken a wreath. This was a spring greenery wreath, and I took it outside. I have a trash can with an old board on it, and I just spritzed it with some white primer to make it into a Christmassy wreath. I feel like your price of admission right now is this idea right here because I never thought about it. Rachel said, why don't we spray paint it? And I'm like, great idea. So um, I never would have thought to do that. Rachel thought of it. And so we spray painted the wreath and then we tucked in some little sprigs of stuff and then hot glued them in there and then tied a ribbon on it. And we're gonna add a screw and that's going to hang on there. So this is going to be on the bottom with this lovely little thing. Um, it's going to be so cute. So let's make it in record time. Okay. And Steve's going to start the stopwatch. He's going to do a stopwatch. Okay. In three, two, one. And I'm going to try, <laughs> I'm going to try not to hurry. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put on our glove. This is a full top baggie. And I'm going to dip my sponge into this. And so these sponges are a dollar fifty. I think they're something like that. So two dollars. Yeah, something like that. They're a dollar fifty-nine. Dollar fifty-nine. Nine cents off. So look how fast that sponge just grabs that and just does the job. We're gonna need a couple of coats. So my point in doing this with the timer on is so that you see. Like, I'm not rushing, I'm not being silly, um, but I'm, I'm being in earnest, and you can see that it's not too late to paint something for Christmas. It's not too late to paint a couple of gifts. Um, in, in my past world, as a decorative painter, um, everything was like a little bit more complex, and stencils take so much of the work out. And I am very appreciative to anything that takes the work out. This is so great for keeping your hands, your manicures. How much money do you spend on those nails? And so now we blow dry and we'll go for another coat, maybe two coats.
really good observation. I am absolutely pushing on this and not trying to um, Hello to the folks. Yeah, it sounds looks like we got it back now. Okay, we got our sound back. I've just continued painting while we were having that technical difficulty. And I'm on the third coat, and I think that'll do it. So I'm making sure to smooth everything while my paint is wet. What I like about this also is your glove becomes your I don't want to wash it yet baggy. Mm -hmm. And so you can just plop that over there and do the thing. So I'll blow dry the last coat. Where are we at? Five minutes. Okay, so super noisy, sorry about that. That's the one thing, you gotta use your tools, right? So you want to make sure that you have um, a blow dryer. Like that is super great. So if you're cold, you're wet. So I'm not cold, but um, you do wanna make sure, I'm gonna add a little tape. I'm gonna do a trick that I like. Another pro tip for you. I'm gonna take it and put it on my jeans to make it less tacky, so less sticky. I just want it to hold, and we need our T-square. Two and a quarter, this is definitely not the same. My quarter is off. And we'll see. When we're talking about putting the sticky, the, the tape on your legs to get the sticky, that's a very, very important tip if you're going to be painting on paper of any sort, if you're going to be doing Christmas cards or wrapping paper, 
you'll definitely want to put the tape on your on your jeans or on a fabric before to make it not sticky so that when you pull the tape off it does not doesn't rip peel your, the paper your or the paint. paint yeah okay so now we'll spit out some white paint <clears throat> and then we're going to go ahead and use our dome brushes Pick up our paint, we're gonna offload. Sorry, it's white and it's hard to see. Um, this design needed black and white. And then we're going to go in, I'm just gonna hold this down. And with no pressure, like literally, like you were stroking like a little newborn baby's back. That's how much pressure you wanna use. You don't wanna use any extra pressure. This is how you're gonna get things to not bleed under and then offload Hear my words, offload every time. And then even then, I didn't offload enough. As soon as I saw that chunky level of paint, I'm like, mm-mm, too much. So when you go to your project and you're not sure if you've offloaded enough, you Do should it. not be able to see any of the swirl marks or any brush stroke marks. It should just look really dusty, and it also should not look wet. So those are two ways to know, okay, maybe I need to go back and offload if you can, if it either looks wet or you can see the stroke marks when you're swirling. And then um, if you noticed, I just touched the area in my S. The neat thing about swirling is by the time you get done and get all the way down to the bottom, you're dry. So I can go right back up and I can start swirling again. This will probably take three coats as well. Three coats when I'm not going pum, 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 is... So much easier. I don't know how you spell pom 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 pom, but um, it's super irritating to do. Um, Kathy says she does the detacking on her apron. Smart. Um, and she also does that when um, also when I use spray adhesive on the back of my stencils. Mm. Oh, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. And then Carol says I always get in a hurry and press too hard and move quickly. Yes, Carol. I know. Too. We've been there. Same. So I only know because experience. I, I had to like own a stencil company to learn this stuff. Like in learn, learn, you know, like not just know, but to, to know. Yeah, I'm definitely a heavy handed painter. Um, so learning to do the light handed is crazy. Okay, so I'll go up here and touch this. If it's cold, it's wet. If it's sticky, it's wet. And it's neither. So I feel good about going on. Just doing such light. Let's just take a peek real quick. Steve, can you come down here? Okay. So we have it very, very dusty still. I just want it strong. So I'll do one more coat. Now I'm trying to be super transparent about this as far as like not transparent paint, but transparent to you guys um, so that you know that, you know, we're doing this in real time. I'm not trying to but I want you to know it's not too late. So you guys, um, if you are, what's our date today? I don't have any Today's idea. Today's 11-21-23. 11-21-23. Um, we are at sale on Christmas. It's not too late. We ship the next day. Um, every now and again, we have one that is a, a monkey wrench, but um, <laughs> very rarely. Um, we figured out all that out about three or four years ago. And um, so your order is going to go out right away. And so let's beat that Black Friday stuff that's going on. And this will not be a better deal for Black Friday. So the deal that you would get would be the best. So get in there, get your Christmas shopping done. Okay, now I think I am. That's a little bit cold. I'm going to shoot it with the blow dryer for one second. This will be my final coat. If you want to see how many stencils we have, we are studio, the letter R12, the number 12, um, stencils. And we have more than 7,000 stencil titles in like five sizes each. So there's like 30,000 stencils on our website. It's a ridiculous. It's a, it's a lot. But everything that you would need. Um, if you want uh, mixed media, we've got that. If you want um, just to make signs, we've got that. If you want to make and sell for craft shows... Durable stencils is the way to go because you'll only pay out once and you can use them over and over. So um, Studio or 12 is definitely the place to go. And then we're going to give you this education. So um, we are all about educating to make your life easier. One last load. 
and we're gonna be ready to put a screw in and hang a wreath and we'll be done. And then if you have our Studio R12 pink color guide, we get asked very often, we just got asked a couple of minutes ago, is this just acrylic paint? We do recommend acrylic paint. We love deco art paint. Patty has painted with deco art paint for years. years. Yeah. And we paint in bulk. So we have a local Sherwin-Williams that we worked with mm -hmm. to make 80 some colors that um, ta -da! Ta -da, that go with deco art colors and we buy in bulk in these containers and put yeah, them those in little sample containers. sizes are amazing if you paint yeah. to sell you need that okay i'm taking my screw driver and i'm gonna hopefully i'm going the right way nope <laughs> oh for pity's sake you don't ever want to watch me do the thing eh. steve i may have to have you do this for me i'm like stretched way over okay steve says stop try this okay so i want this screw to go in there slightly i pre-drilled a hole i had the screw in there yesterday and everything was fine make sure i'm not sticking out the back and oh hi so this is where it all goes south everybody um, then we hang our wreath and let me grab, there we go. grab that hair off there. Yep. Okay. So what's our time, Steve? What is our time? 1342. 1342. So in the time that it takes you to cook rice, you can have a whole entire project painted for your house. And um, I think that's amazing. It's just so sweet, so elegant. Um, and yeah, well, it. you can start your rice and yeah. get your project yeah. painted and then go back and have dinner ready. How many of you guys paint on the dining room table? I'm curious about that. I paint on, we have a little folding Minnie Mouse um, table. Minnie Mouse? <laughs> I don't paint on my good table. I paint on the kids' craft table. All right, you guys. So in 15 minutes, you can paint a project, a gift, a thing using stencils you have or new stencils that you buy. We can get them to you. Um, let's make your Christmas jolly and merry. Yeah, okay. All right. So we will see you on Tuesday next week at noon. And be there, be square. We're going to be having fun. <laughs> see ya.